Okay, so to clean things up a little bit, I am starting this video at the end of the career site creating structure from lesson 5.2. And what I have done, and I'll give you a second if you'd like to follow along, it's just going to be easier to work out a VS code because this is asking us to copy and paste every lesson anyway. So I created a file in my VS code called index, one called job info and one called style, which is a CSS file. on um, this full screen view. And what I've done is I copied my index.html code over to VS code. I copied my job info over and I copied my style over. So I did lesson 5.2 purely in code HS. I've now taken and copied it over. Um, so take a moment. I'm going to pause for a couple of seconds. You can pause the video. And if you've not done so, go ahead and copy and paste over everything you have through lesson 5.2. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, because I did not go over it, is I'm going to go back into the lesson with frames. So I did embed the video, but the career site include outside information. So I'm going to go back now to lesson 5.3 and do the project portion there. So I'm not going to paste any code right now. I'm just going to work out of VS Code. So I'm going to pull up the assignment directions. Um, so this says first head to the ONET to find more information about your job. Um, so that is a good resource if you're researching a different career field. This is where your information is going to be different. That said, I'm just going to plug in some generic information using education. You can plug in the generic information and then go back and change it later. All you'll need to change will just be the actual content. You shouldn't have to change any um, tags. So it says in job info, add the following. So I'm going to go into my VS Code. I'm going to lock it so that I can see it permanently. All right, and I'm going to job info. And it said add a H3 header at the bottom, but above the link to the home page. So it's going to be right here. This is detailed information. This is under the new header. Use an iframe to embed the page from ONET that discusses your job. You should make it 600 pixels tall and give it a width of 100%. All right, so in this case, uh, if it wants me to use an iframe, I'll go ahead and bite and open up ONET. And I'm gonna search uh, high school teacher, um, secondary school teachers. Notice this says except special and career technical. Um, so here we go. So there's CTA teachers. All right. So here is the generic page. So I'm going to leave that page there. I'm also going to come over here to my docs section and just rip off the iframe code. So I'm going to do a control F and see if iframe shows up. There we go. So a little trick there. Um, I held control F on my keyboard and search for iframe and it got me right to the code. And now all I need to do is just copy that example code and I am going to paste that there. Now I need to update the width, the height, and the address based on my directions. So the height is 600 pixels and the width is 100%. Okay, so be careful we don't confuse those. So the width, we wanted 100%. We'll do 100%. And the height, 600 pixels. And then we just want to update. So I'm going to copy the address there. So if you're doing a different career, you can copy that career. And we're going to replace that code HS right, with 
the ONET address. Okay. And it says be sure to put the, this means the iframe will be 100% of the width of the window. Be sure to put the style information in style.css. Not sure exactly what that is going to entail, but okay. Um, this is fill out the information for description, average salary, and employers based on what you find on the ONET site. Use an ordered list to list the employers. You can list the industries or specific companies that hire people for your job. Add the other information in paragraph tags. So, a little bit jumbled with the directions, but what I'm essentially going to do is I'm going to come up here under description. I'm going to do a paragraph tag. I'm going to go to average salary. I'm going to do a paragraph tag. I come here to employers and I'm going to do a paragraph tag. Okay, and then now I'm going to need to go back to ONET. I'll come over here to details. So I could pick some of this to copy work context. So there's not a good paragraph really that, uh, so this is quite the extensive layout. So I did find down there, I did just see salary 62,500 is average. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in for salary. Employers right here, I'm going to put US, I'm not going to list every employer, that's going to be ridiculous. Um, but I have employers, I have average salary description. Uh, so what I'm going to do for description at this point maybe the easy read, let's see how that does. Um, so yeah, let's just kind of copy this information on the job. Okay. All right, and I'm going to put those in two separate. I'll tell you, what, I'm just going to leave that there. I know I'm, this is dragging, so. Um, that at least gets me some content. That's the main point right now. Um, I expect you to clean yours up a little bit, but for the sake of getting this done, all right, I should be finished now with the requirements from lesson 5.3. Now I can move on to lesson 5.4. Um, well, let me... Let me go ahead and paste my code over here for job info. Control C. Control V. And copy my index over as well. And my style information. Save, submit and continue. Um, so I should have one unordered list. Let me close. So let me go back and read these long directions and let's see. Use an unordered list to list the employers. Um, so that's where I need to fix it. So I'm just gonna do that again. 
where head teachers are needed constantly. I'm going to do a UL. I'm just going to put some local schools, and each one will have a list item. Any county schools. Allah. Schools. Okay, that should give me two. I'm just going to copy that code. That's what I added. Go back to job info just to meet that requirement, get it off my back. Okay. Submit and continue. That should get.